Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Sutta said, O sage Sonika, highly intelligent, of the form of Shiva, noble-minded, please listen to the greatness of Rudraksha. I shall explain it briefly. Rudraksha is the favorite bead of Shiva. It is highly sanctifying. It removes all sins by sight, contact, and japas. O sage, formerly the greatness of Rudraksha was declared to the goddess by Shiva, the supreme soul, for rendering help to the worlds. Shiva said, O Shiva, Maheshani, be pleased to hear the greatness of Rudraksha. I speak out of love for you from a desire for the benefit of the devotees of Shiva. O Maheshani, formerly I had been performing penance for thousands of divine years. Although I had controlled it rigorously, my mind was in flutter. Out of sport, I, being self-possessed, just opened my eyes, O goddess, from a desire to help the worlds. Drops of tears fell from my beautiful half-closed eyes. From those teardrops there cropped up the Rudraksha plants. They became immobile. In order to bless the devotees, they were given to the four varnas devoted to the worship of Vishnu. Rudraksha, grown in Gauda, Bengal, became great favorites of Shiva. They were grown in Matra, Lanka, Ayodhya, Malaya, Sahya Mountain, Kashi, and other places. They are competent to break asunder the clustered sins unbearable to the others, as the sacred texts have declared. At my bidding, they were classified into Brahmanas, Kshatriyas, Vaishas, and Shudras. These Rudraksha are of auspicious nature. The colors of the four types of Rudraksha are respectively white, red, yellow, and black. All people shall wear the Rudraksha of their own Varna. If they desire their benefit, namely worldly pleasures and salvation, and if the devotees of Shiva wish to gratify Shiva, they must wear Rudraksha, a Rudraksha of the size of a Dhatrapala, emblic Myrobalan, is mentioned as the most excellent, one of the size of Badrifala, fruit of the jujube tree, is spoken of as middling. O Parvati, lovingly listen to this from a desire for the benefit of the devotees. The meanest of Rudraksha is of the size of a gram, according to this excellent classification. O Maheshwari, even the Rudraksha, which is only of the size of the Badrifala, accords benefit and heightens happiness and good fortune. That which is the size of the Dhatrafala, emblic Marobalan, is conducive to the destruction of all distresses. That which is the size of a Gunja berry is conducive to the achievement of the fruit of all desires. The lighter the Rudraksha, the more fruitful it is. Each of these is fruitful, and that of a weight of one-tenth is considered by scholars as the most fruitful. Wearing Rudraksha is recommended for the sake of destroying sins. Hence, that which is conducive to the achievement of every object has to be worn, certainly. O Parameshwari, no other necklace or garland is observed in the world to be so auspicious and fruitful as the Rudraksha. O Goddess, Rudraksha of even size, glossy, firm, Thick and having many thorn-like protrusions yield desires and bestow worldly pleasures and salvation forever. Six types of Rudraksha shall be discarded. Those defiled by worms, cut and broken, have no thorn-like protrusions, have cracks, and are not spherical. That which has a natural whole is the most excellent. That which is bored through by human effort is the middling one. 
Wearing Rudraksha is spoken of as conducive to the destruction of great sins. If 1100 Rudrakshas are worn on the person, the man assumes the form of Rudra. Even in hundreds of years, it is impossible to describe adequately the benefit derived by wearing 1150 Rudrakshas. A devout man shall make a coronet consisting of 550 Rudrakshas. A person of pious nature shall make three circular strings in the manner of the sacred thread, each having 360 beads. O Maheshwari, three Rudrakshas must be worn on the shikha, and six in each of the ears, right and left. 101 Rudrakshas shall be worn round the neck. Eleven Rudrakshas shall be worn round each of the arms, elbows, and wrists. Devotees of Shiva shall have three Rudrakshas in the sacred thread, and round the hips five Rudrakshas shall be tied. O Parameshwari, the person by whom so many Rudrakshas are worn is worthy of being bowed to and adored by all, like Mahesha. Such a person, while in contemplation, shall be duly seated and addressed, O Shiva. Seeing him, everyone is freed from sins. This is the rule regarding 1100 Rudrakshas. If so many are not available, another auspicious procedure I mentioned to you. One Rudraksha shall be worn on the tuft, 30 on the head, 50 round the neck, 16 in each of the arms, 12 round each of the wrists, 500 on the shoulders, and three strings each, having 108 in the manner of the sacred thread. He who wears in all a thousand Rudrakshas, and is of firm resolve in performing rites, is bowed to by all devas, like Rudra himself. One Rudraksha shall be worn on the tuff, 40 on the forehead, 32 round the neck, 108 over the chest, 6 in each of the ears, 16 round each of the arms. O Lord of Sages, according to the measurement of the forearms, 12 or twice that number shall be worn there. A person who wears so many, out of love, is a great devotee of Shiva. He shall be worshipped like Shiva. He is worthy of being always honored by all. It shall be worn on the head, repeating Ishana mantra, on the ears with Tripurusha mantra, round the neck with Agora mantra, and on the chest also likewise. The wise devotee shall wear the Rudraksha round the forearms with Agora Bija mantra. A string of fifteen beads shall be worn on the stomach with Vamadeva mantra. With five mantras, Sadyojata, etc., three, five, or seven garlands shall be worn, or all beads shall be worn with the Mula Mantra. A devotee of Shiva shall refrain from eating meat, garlic, onion, red garlic, hot herb, shleshmataka, pig of rubbish, and liquors. O Uma, daughter of the mountain, the white Rudrakshas shall be worn by the Brahmana, the red by the Kshatriya, the yellow by the Vaisha, the black by the Shudra. This is the path indicated by the Vedas. Whether he is a householder, forest dweller, ascetic, or of any ashram, none shall ignore this secret advice. Only by great merits can the opportunity to wear the Rudraksha be obtained. If he misses it, he will go to hell. The Rudrakshas of the size of a Dhatrafala and those of lighter weight but depressed with thorns, those eaten by worms or without holes, and those characterized by other defects, shall not be worn by those wishing for auspicious results. They shall avoid small ones of the size of a gram. O Uma, Rudraksha is an auspicious complement to my phallic image. The small one is always praiseworthy. People of all varnas and ashramas, even women and shudras, can wear rudrakshas at the bidding of Shiva. The ascetics shall wear it with the pranava. If anyone wears rudrakshas during the day, he is freed from sins committed during the night. If he wears it during the night, 
he is freed from the sins committed during the day. Similar is the result with its wearing during morning, midday, or evening. Those who wear tripundra, matted hair, and rudrakshas do not go to Yama's abode. Yama directed his attendants. Those who wear at least one rudraksha on their heads, tripundra on the forehead, and repeat the five-syllable mantra shall be honored by you all. They are indeed saintly men. You can bring the man here who has no rudrakshas on his person, no tripundra on his forehead, and who does not utter the five-syllabled mantra. All those who have the ash and rudraksha shall be honored always by us after knowing their power. They shall never be brought here. Yama commanded his attendants like this. They too remained quiet, agreeing to it. In fact, they were surprised. Hence, Mahadevi, the Rudraksha as well as the person who wears it is my favorite. O Parvati, even if he has committed sins, he becomes pure. He who wears Rudrakshas round the hands and arms and over the head cannot be killed by any living being. He shall roam in the world in the form of Rudra. He shall be respected by the gods and asuras always. He shall be honored like Shiva. He removes the sin of anyone seen by him. If a person is not liberated after meditation and acquisition of knowledge, he shall wear Rudraksha. He shall be freed from all sins and attain the highest goal. A mantra repeated with Rudraksha is a crore times more efficacious. A man wearing Rudraksha derives a hundred million times more merit. O goddess, as long as the Rudraksha is on the person of a living soul, he is least affected by premature death. One shall attain Rudra on seeing a person with Tripundra, his limbs covered with Rudraksha, and repeating the Mrityunjaya mantra. He is a favorite of the five deities and a favorite of all gods. O beloved, a devotee shall repeat all mantras wearing a garland of Rudraksha or counting on them. Even the devotees of Vishnu and other deities shall unhesitatingly wear the Rudraksha. Especially the devotee of Rudra shall wear Rudraksha always. Rudrakshas are of various types. I shall explain their different classifications. O Parvati, hear with great devotion. These Rudrakshas bestow worldly pleasures and salvation. <laughs>